The reason for my selection here is quite abstract from the, the uh, usual um, uh, Orange River quartz. Now this would be from Goodhouse and Surrounds on the Orange River. Orange River of course is a pretty vague term. We're talking about a river which ranges for 2,000 kilometers through various countries. The section we would be focusing on is the area between Namibia and South Africa where the river intersects. Uh, what is different about this one is that there are very few, uh, it's not red or grey as it would typically be, it's almost going into some kind of a clarity, a slight, slight creaminess, slight yellowishness, maybe a, a more girthite inclusion than, than hematite inclusion. So technically speaking, hematoid, ferruginous, hematite included quartz, what you see there is most likely a bit of hematite, some tiny crystals going up the side there. Good size, we must be looking at about uh, 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 three, 3 to 4 inches edge to edge on that side. A little bit of contact on this, uh, or is it? Uh, now that's intact. I think the contact is on this edge, so on the back edge. All the way from South Africa, Orange River Quartz. Quite, quite a lovely form, nice formation of the quartz. And of course, from a display point of view, I quite enjoy this angle. I think I did get this angle in the still pictures. Look at those little crystals sitting over there and those jutting out there. So maybe moving into a candle quartz kind of formation.